Now, here's the thing about someone who has a stalker mentality towards you anyway. They write you more anonymously, right? For one, right? They generally don't give out their real name, their real phone number, their real address, unless they don't know what to do if they're being stalked, right? Now, even celebrities, though, deal with stalkers, but am I a real celebrity? No, I'm a novelty act, right? Which is all I'm trying to be anyway. I know I'm doing this in entertainment and fun because I'm just showing what I learned to do growing up, not anything in particular either, either. Now, we've all heard the rumors about the soundboard and editing and all that. But that don't mean the person ain't seen, like I said as well. It's kind of suicidal, right? And what I mean by that is, yes, they might can do multiple voice tracks of the artist, right? Where they're singing different parts. Because you got seven reels on the soundboard, right? Or seven tape decks or seven CD decks too, right? <clears throat> but, mm-hmm. Anyone can do that with the soundboard, right? Ain't no about there be nothing. <laughs> For example, right? Can't tell me nothing. <laughs> now, what that is, is I'm impersonating Little Nas or whatever. And if I want to, gonna take me down to the old time road. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. I can't even do Billy Ray Cyrus's part. I'm an impersonator. I'm not Billy Ray. I'm not Lil Nas. Like Eddie Murphy and some of the earlier comedians I grew up listening to, I'm an impersonator. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless you're all fake, <laughs> which John Belushi didn't seem fake when he sung Joe Cocker, right? Nor mm -hmm. did Eddie Murphy when he sung Stevie Wonder. Mm -hmm. I didn't even mind him dressing up in white face. Mm -hmm. Didn't even know what that was. <laughs> Or blackface, right? As a Halloween thing, though, right? Can't do it all year long. Ow. <laughs> Call it out. But y'all want to be prejudiced and get Megan fired or whatever. Who cares, right? Everybody deal with them. Reverse racism, which is where you're being racist towards a white person, yet you did something somewhere yourself in an act, right? And yes, it was a crazy act the white people did in the 1900s, right? Right or wrong, they did it, right? But it was meant as comedy then, and it's meant as comedy when Eddie Murphy did it with white tape, mm -hmm. makeup. Mm -hmm. So did Keenan and <laughs> the Wayne brothers, whatever, I don't know, forget their name, but <laughs> you know what I mean, right? They dress up as white chicks, I mean, come on. <laughs> but does that bother me? No, that's comedy. Comedy's never been PC, right? Now, maybe the white people are trying to get the black pe people used to the black people back then, right? And using comedy to do it. Because, <laughs> see, if you don't are afraid of black people, right, in a way, <laughs> and yeah, all I gotta do is put on a little bit of shoe polish to look like them. They're us, and we're them. No, no. They're just from a darker climate where it's hot all the time, the sun's out. And you're going to adapt, right? Same as if you're from a cold climate, you're going to adapt, right? Adaptation is not evolution as well, scientists. Don't confuse the two. They look similar, but they're not. <laughs> now, when something makes a whole fucking planet for you to live on, you better act like you all need to live on it together, right? Or you're going to fuck it up for everybody. <laughs> Fooding yourself. <laughs> I think you're forgetting that, right? Now, I've only been with the last woman I remember is Molly, right? But if you're trying to get with me and I'm trying to get with you and someone's interfering, I don't know that, right? But if they're interfering, it's not going to be when we're together. It's going to be after you leave. <laughs> you understand that, right? So I'm not trying, okay, <laughs> to seduce you. But I am trying to move on from all my ex-girlfriends because they're Fucking me and not committing to me and pretending I'm the one fucking them, but that's a two party deal. Right? If you want to fuck, fuck. <laughs> if you don't, don't. What do you think Jesus means when he said, let your yes be yes or your no be no in a relationship, right? Either do it with the person or don't. You know that's the bottom line anyway. Mm -hmm. 
We're all trying to have sex. Now, stalkers also send you crazy, you know, letters, right? Like, they're all <laughs> use different letters, heads, or different typewriters, or... If someone's using a typewriter to contact you and the other person wrote you by hand, something ain't right. <laughs> not because of me, but because of someone else I'm not aware is doing that to you, right? <clears throat> That's called sabotaging your relationship from my ship to see the ship, for example. And I couldn't do nothing about it because she believed the saboteur, not me. <laughs> That's the problem, too, sometimes. If you got a stalker even on your ship and you're trying to, you know, find a girlfriend... Or a woman friend, you know what I mean, right? Since I was 20 at the time, I still called you girlfriends. <laughs> now I'm trying to call you women friends if you're over 18, right? 18 and older, I'm cool with. Under, I'm a little nervous, but the age of consent, I think, is 16 in Georgia. You can legally marry in Georgia with your parents' permission at 16, but you gotta get their permission, too, to legally marry, right? To have sex applies to that, too. That's the problem, right? See, you can't say someone can legally marry with their parents' permission, but then tell them they can't have sex with an older man either, either. That's called a catch-22, and that'll make someone who's not trying to be with a 16-year-old and the 16-year-old hook up. <laughs> Which I'm not trying to be with a 16-year-old, not because I don't have a problem with one, but because, again, a 16-year-old can drive up in a car and I'm not even question she's of age, right? You know what I mean, right? But an adult... And uh, over 18 is what I'm looking for, like I said, right? I know the law. <laughs> and I don't try to break the law knowingly, right? Right. Now, you might say ignorance of the law is no excuse for breaking the law, but that's kind of the problem, right? If there's a bullshit law, I know. Like, again, I heard about a juror oversleeping while on jury duty, right? Which can happen in reality, right? Maybe he was up late. Maybe he was going over certain details of the case, right? It don't matter why he might have overslept. That's the human condition, right? You can't expect, though, everyone to be perfect, judge, and put a felony on his record, right? You got to reduce it at least to a misdemeanor, right? And things like that. It, he didn't do it probably intentionally, but maybe he forgot to set the alarm. Human things occur in real life, I know. That's a mild mistake, right? And you can't take jury duty as serious as, say, um, you know, traffic court, right? Where you got to show up, right? This, you know, you're given the summons and you got to show up at due date, right? Or they can, again, fine you, right? In addition to the charge for what you violated, right? Now, the thing is, like I said... If you let something go, let it go. <laughs> if you don't, don't. But don't be wishy-washy. Right? Don't act like you like me one minute and then don't want to be around me the next because that's going to confuse me. That's Sheena and Mary Bell. And whenever the relationships were over, I could tell basically, right? Now, am I holding out a little bit for Sheena because I don't know what the hell's going on? Yeah. Am I thinking my shipmates could have sabotaged the relationship and she's believing them over me? Yeah. But am I trying to do anything to hurt her or me? No, I'm trying to protect us both from them, right? In case they are the culprits behind it all. And I can't prove it legally. <laughs> and one of the things I told Sheena is keep the letters I wrote you. Why? It's proof we were together, right? Now, that's why I'm asking her, though, did she save any of the letters? If she didn't, she can't prove a damn thing, nor me, nor me. Or did she turn them over to the Navy, right? If someone is typing her from my ship, I am not a good typist. In fact, I can get my um, school records and show you that shit. Mm -hmm. I probably have C and D grades in typing, right? That means I can type a little, but I do a lot of typos. And if there's a typewriter involved, oh, there'll be a lot of white out. And I would have to redo it several times to even get one letter out. <laughs> I'm not a good typist, right? But there was one on our ship, and he had to type up Lieutenant Gibson's uh, reports and, and all that. Mm -hmm. Now, if he was doing it, though, 
he was being bullied into it. She was hurt. By King or Ben, right? Now, King and Ben were the most vocal and the most standoffish the whole time, right? King electrocuted himself on their first job assignment together, where I didn't even know what the hell was going on, right? Like, I'm supposed to know how to work on the bus and wouldn't even know it's circuit breaker where the, um, he was behind the bus anyway. See, he was behind the bus when I came down anyway. I wouldn't know where he was at until I stuck my head around the corner, but that's when he touched the bus because I was like his friend he worked with normally, right? We had similar features. Different now, but if I'm just coming around there and you've been working with your friend kind of differently than you're supposed to, right? Because you're not supposed to both work on it together. There's a reason for that. Mm -hmm. In case someone looks like your friend and you electrocute yourself. Which is all that happened. Unless they're trying to co-red me every night and I'm calling on Jesus to raise me from the dead. And because of the car wreck, Jesus did. <laughs> I can't prove the code reds are even happening though. They can only happen when? Out the sea. Out the sea. Right? But they also got to involve other people to do that to me, right? More than one. And you're going to cause a ruckus, right? But I hope I'm exaggerating, right? Making it up, that part, right? I'm not saying they would really do it because I got family back in Georgia. And that's what you got to realize. I'm not alone, right? In this world, I'm like you. I was born to my mom and dad, and my dad was murdered, right? Which, again, maybe that's why Jesus is having mercy on me differently than you, because I'm doing something differently for him, not to toot my own horn, right? Either. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm being bold, but also humble, right? Why? Why? I'm trying to tell what I learned, right? Is different than what you showed me, you know? And the reason this is different is a guy called Constantine and a group called the Orthodox started focusing on different scriptures than the disciples could have taught, and that confused the church for 1,675 years. <laughs> and still counting. Do you have maybe 30% of Jesus? Hopefully you have at least 10, nothing than none, but again. <laughs> but here's the point. If he's the firstborn of every creature, what does that mean? Okay, you got androgynous creatures, you got male creatures, you got female creatures, you got asexual creatures. If he's the firstborn of every creature, is every creature from Jesus too? Right? Meaning he can kind of morph right? from one creature to the other too. Now, metamorph means multiple morphing. <laughs> Morphine is just, you know, you change form, basically, right? You're kind of like a changeling, right? Now, someone, though, might have a problem with this. Not God and Jesus. Who does that lead? <laughs> the creature Satan, who too can appear in any human form he wants, but may have been a hermaphrodite to confuse Adam and Eve and trick them both into having sex with him, right? That's called beguiling them, <laughs> And uh, they don't talk about it in Sunday school class when you're growing up. <laughs> it's adult Sunday school class. <laughs> right. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> we have sex. Grow up. We're designed to. Grow up. Be committed in a relationship or don't do it at all. Unless you have a thing. Or you're in agreement. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> now. Mm -hmm. You can come to me anytime at night, but if you're only coming to me at night, you're just a one night seeing like Mary Bell or Daphne or she never right? right? So I lived with Daphne for four months, right? Right. Because you can live with me, but I'm disabled, right? Now, my house is a little strode, <laughs> but again, if you help me clean it up, we can clean it up together. It's not fine. Mm -hmm. Gonna say how it is. I don't have a problem with it. Do you, right? You don't understand I get I'm fired this in my back and I getting pain. <laughs> I fell three shores. <laughs> That's not a normal accident either. <laughs> but like I said, I can't prove what Sheena did on her ship or if he made her do something crazy or if I even got her pregnant when we had sex on Palmer. <laughs> the port of Palmer. <laughs> I forgot the island name, but like I said, right? Mm. Now, 
I haven't changed my overall personality, but I'm worried cheating about into some kind of lie for my shipmates, which I can't prove to her. So she destroyed all the information or gave it over to the Navy, which isn't bad Navy, but like I told you, you don't see two different personalities between the written letters and the type letters. And why would I type a different type of letter to my new girlfriend to break us up? <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Mm, I want a girlfriend. But who would want me to have a girlfriend? Because they want me to be gay with him. My shipmates, maybe? <laughs> and I'm refusing them? <sighs> it would at least have to involve my division, right? Where I had to sleep with them, right? Now, if they're making me carry around pictures of naked women, though, I might be having a wet dream and they're pretending I'm thinking of them, right? When I'm thinking of the women in the picture, not them, not them. Just because I'm around a bunch of men, again, and you're making me paranoid sexually, don't mean I'm thinking of you, right? Which is why I would carry around pictures of naked women, right? And they're being thing there, right? Not me, not me. But then they're telling Gina how they feel about it all. Not me, not you. I wouldn't even talk to my new girlfriend that way. They might have called her the N-word. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's only me, you and me, and we just disagree. Now, couples can also have disagreements, right? But not go crazy on each other either. But do you want a real relationship with me or me to be your fuck buddy or whatever? I, I do got all those sperm count and I'm technically sterile, right? But all it takes is one to get through, right? Hundred thousand is better than none, but it's not zero either. either. I can't tell you what'll happen, right? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, have a good day.